Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about teaching your horse to pick you up from a mounting block. This is a super cool, super handy uh, skill for your horse to know if you were ever stranded without a mounting block and you need to use a fence or a tree stump or something like that, you're gonna be able to teach your horse to saddle up to you and uh, you can step on them. It'll be super cool, super easy thing to do. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna teach the horse to side pass towards us on the rail, on the ground. It's the easiest place to start to teach this move. You maybe could kind of sort of figure it out, get it done from the mounting block, but this is gonna be an easy way to have some good connection understanding from your horse. So we're gonna come over to the rail. We're gonna make the puzzle really easy. Now, typically we mount horses from the right side. It's good to mount them from both sides. So I'm gonna start on her uh, left side. And the secret here is, come on over here. The secret here is I'm gonna hold the lead rope kind of short and I got a longer uh, lunge whip here, buggy whip, whatever it's called. I'm gonna back up slowly so that she knows we're going this way. This makes it really easy for them. And then I'm gonna reach over her back and I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure over there until I feel those hindquarters step over. Now I'm gonna pet her with it. Very good. So that's gonna be the very first cue when you're teaching a horse to side pass towards you. Let's start again. So I'm gonna back up, gonna lift the stick over, give her a chance. She's not side passing towards me yet, so I'm gonna add a little rhythm, and we got the move. Now, once you have that understanding starting to happen, now you wanna do less. So now I could choose to maybe take longer with my uh, stick. I could move my feet backward less. So that's the one I'm gonna try. Um, I'm just going to tip her nose towards me. I'm not going to move my feet and we got her moving her hip over. Very good. Very good. Now a common mistake um, that people tend to make when they do this is they try to block the horse's nose too much when they're coming. The horse has to understand it has permission to come this way. Okay. And so I'm going to keep my feet by the rail. I'm going to move very, very slowly until the horse finds the answer. The better this step is, the easier the next step will be. So take your time, set it up for success, get, get some understanding on your horse's end, and you'll be ready to head to the mounting block. So to get started with uh, Mount teaching her to pick you up there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position the mounting block by the rail. So this eliminates the option for her to go all the way around. It makes my puzzle a little bit easier, okay? Um, now I'm gonna put her out of position here just to kind of show you. So if your horse ends up kind of side passing over here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get on the mounting block and you're gonna kind of tip, tip their nose um, to the right. This makes it easy for her to bring her hip over. Well, and there she did a pretty good job. I'm gonna get one more step. There we go. Now, they don't have to be perfect when you're introducing this step to them. Because if you get too picky about it, the, th the thing you're trying to avoid is being here on the mounting block and then putting a lot of pressure on them, trying to get them to be here. Because then they're going to associate this area with pressure coming on, okay? And that's what we don't want to do, okay? So now I'm going to show you how to take this to the next level. And what I'm about to show you is kind of a, a, a couple of layers to this that I think a lot of people don't fully understand. So... I'm just gonna break this down for you. Horses are very geographically oriented. Horses are pattern animals. And horses um, associate pressure and release in various levels. Okay, so very low intensity over there, which means I didn't have to put a lot of pressure to get her to do that. She didn't get a ton of relief then for doing it, okay? Maybe you could give them a cookie, something like that. Um, but in order to uh, leverage these principles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to push her hindquarters around and I'm going to make over here not super fun, okay? Not super fun, not super fun, not scary, not terrible, but just a little bit of pressure over here, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure. Now I'm going to walk her up to the mounting block and I'm going to create a pattern of asking her to come pick me up and then I'll settle. 
See her lick and chew. She just got relief for getting here. When a horse licks and chews, it means they switched nervous systems. So she just got more comfortable being here. Now the reason she got more comfortable being here this time is because I put a little pressure on over there. If I had just walked her away and then brought her back, it wouldn't have had that same contrast. So this is natural to horses. This is how horses operate. Um, they're used to kind of moving up and down the spectrum. If you want to learn more about this, check out the book Evidence-Based Horsemanship. I can put a link in the description below. That's where this information of psychology comes from. So she literally switched nervous systems by her licking and chewing. A lot of people think, oh, that means the horse just understood something. But really, it means they just got more comfortable. So which means they were previously uncomfortable in order for that to work. Okay, so we're going to do that pattern a couple more times, and then we're going to try it with the bridle. So now, and you know, I could step on or off here, but um, I'm just going to reinforce this pattern. And I don't want her to get in the habit of walking away here. So to release her from the mounting block, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ask her to back up and maybe just do a step over and then come over here. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to do this again. It doesn't really matter what side. Um, you push them around on, it just matters that she doesn't associate this pressure with the mounting block. So don't fall into the trap of putting more pressure on by the mounting block than what you would out here. I see this, this is really super common with trailer loading or getting a horse confident with obstacles. They bring them up to the obstacle and then put a lot of pressure on them. No. Oh, do you guys see that? She went out of her way to put herself in the position to do that. So it only took a couple of tries. She's got the idea here, and uh, that's a home run. If you guys are enjoying these videos, do me a big favor and go and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment below. I appreciate you guys uh, watching the videos.